Miles Beckler here and welcome to this ClickFunnels review. Now I've been using ClickFunnels for over a year personally and it has worked wonders for an aspect of my business. But to be perfectly honest with you, I also use a WordPress based system. I use Thrive Themes for some of my marketing funnels and find that to be very, very user friendly. So before we jump in, if you have WordPress skills, if you're very budget conscious, and if you're willing to invest more of your time and you don't want to invest your money, you may want to consider using WordPress and Thrive Themes. With that said, if you're busy, if you're looking to get into this internet marketing thing, you don't have the tech skills, you want a platform you can count on to build your marketing funnels, to build your online business, ClickFunnels may very well be the correct option for you. My biggest recommendation before we jump inside that dashboard is click the link below the video in the description. It's milesbeckler.com slash funnels and take them up on their free trial for 14 day free trial of ClickFunnels because honestly you can get your first funnel built the first day. You could begin running traffic to it. You can begin growing your list and potentially even seeing commissions on affiliate products or sales from your own products uh, within the two week period. So it really makes no sense not to jump in, get started, set a calendar reminder if you're unsure if you wanna keep it for 13 days out so you can make a decision. Uh, but really just jump in and get started is sometimes the best you can do. With that said, let me get myself out of the way and let's jump inside of the dashboard here. So this is the ClickFunnels dashboard. This is where you end up once you log into ClickFunnels with your own account. The first thing you're gonna notice is these three simple videos each of them are about six to seven minutes um, and they really give you the click here do this get this set up kind of instructions that make it really simple to get your ideas conveyed on the web through the click funnels system uh, it's a brilliant place to start honestly you really need to get going there now we are only working within the funnels portion here as you can see I'm on the $97 per month uh, account I'm not I don't run actionetics and I don't run backpack and if you're just getting started with an internet business I don't recommend that you do either I would avoid their upsells I would build your first funnel and I would start to run Facebook pay-per-click traffic instead of putting that extra money into these tools or into the one-on-one -on -one coaching because building the funnel is simple and it's all about testing your ideas getting some traffic and getting some results so you've gotten started here in ClickFunnels right where do you go the first place you need to go is here under the account there's a few things you need to get set up the first thing is your custom domain this is where you take it from being yourname.clickfunnels.com to yourbrand.com and having it at your own domain name is a really powerful kind of influential way to make sure that your visitors and your customers really truly believe that you are a reputable company that you are worthy of kind of taking action through so that's a that's an absolute must and they definitely have a training for that the next place you're going to want to go is here into the integrations now the integrations is where you're going to connect it with your autoresponder you can see here I've got it connected with Aweber as my autoresponder um, so if you're on ConvertKit Aweber uh, active campaign it doesn't really matter you just click the add new integration uh, you give it a nickname and you can see that it's just got them all signed up here and it simply walks you through the process of setting these integrations up super super simple stuff uh, anytime you're in the dashboard you get going you can always click on the ClickFunnels logo it takes you back to this main dashboard uh, the one other place you need to get going here if you're selling your own products if you're an affiliate that is all you really need to wor worry about here is the integrations and the um, the custom domains if you're selling your own products you do want to connect your own payment gateway I do recommend uh, stripe stripe has been an absolute fantastic uh, integration we use it for multiple websites um, I keep a, a very open communication with them some people have had challenges with stripe I've had uh, some really good experiences with them especially when I notify them via email before a launch or before I'm traveling if my IP address is gonna bounce around they really appreciate that now, if you're giving away an ebook from uh, your, your funnel, if that's kind of the giveaway, you can actually set up ClickFunnels here with this digital assets to deliver that ebook for you on your thank you page. This is a really powerful way to help you save a bunch of time. You simply add the PDF document as the asset and they automatically put that inside of your thank you page as the delivery. This is really powerful, but if you're watching or going through some of my other videos like the uh, 30 minute 
affiliate funnel video that we do you actually don't need to use this because you're only setting up a bridge page and you're sending the visitor over to the affiliate product from your thank you page and if you're interested in how that works be sure to check out my uh, how to build an affiliate funnel in 30 minutes video I'll put that link in the description as well so we're in ClickFunnels. We now have our integrations set up correctly. What is the next step? Well, luckily, it's very simple. It's this big orange button here. You click Add New Funnel, and this is where this is where ClickFunnels is like magical, to be perfectly honest, because in WordPress or in another system, you you need to manage multiple kind of pieces of software and get them working together in order to get these kinds of results. So if you're running an affiliate funnel like the one that we did um, in that 30 minute video or if you're getting going as an affiliate marketer, this is what you choose and collecting emails is going to be a very simple landing page for the opt-in and then a thank you page. If you want to sell your product, obviously this is the one you choose and it gets it gets more creative here. There's more you can do in the sell your product realm. And then the webinars, if you if you're constantly running webinars whether marketing webinars or paid webinars um, as a product system, it's a great way to integrate webinars. You just set up your webinar system inside of the integrations right where we just were and as you launch these new webinars, they plug right into webinar jam, Google Hangouts or whatever you use. So let's look inside of the sell your product here. Um, I am an information marketer and I love information products uh, compared to like drop shipping. The, the margins are just fantastic, which means uh, better budgets for, for marketing and it allows you to kind of build a large and noteworthy business on a relatively few number of customers compared to many other business models. So the product launch is following Jeff Walker's product launch formula. A sales funnel is going to be a simple squeeze page to upsell type sales funnel where you're getting uh, customers and leads in one funnel. And then obviously the membership funnel. I've done a, I run a membership system here on ClickFunnels. I'm going to probably do a full video on how to set up a membership program just to kind of show you all of the ins and outs that we do here. Uh, but let's go into the sales funnel right now. And what we're going to do is type in a name, right? Put my name and then a group tag. No need for that. I'll just skip that and let's build a funnel. You can see it's going to put a four step funnel together for me. And that's pretty much all I need to get started. The cool part is I can drag and drop um, additional steps. So if I want to add like a, a one click upsell after the checkout page, it's literally I'm able to add a new step in here and just kind of modify that quickly. Let me move myself up over here in the corner. And you can see on the left, these are the funnel steps that it just created for us. It automatically set it all up and it's already working. Right, so all we need to do is the pages are linked together, the, the sales page is physically there, uh, the order form is in, so it's like the shopping cart, the lead generation system, and the product delivery system were all created with just a few clicks. This is the power of ClickFunnels. You can set up new ideas, you can iterate, you can launch them incredibly quickly. Now I'm scrolling through the different templates that we have available. You can see they've got a lot of professionally designed templates. And if you've watched some of my other videos where I review squeeze pages and landing pages from some of the pros, you'll notice they've got a lot of simple options. I love simple options. Simple works and I'm a huge fan of it. So I personally would gravitate towards some of these really simple styles. But um, I was going to see here on the top, you notice they do have the different um, templates right so these are the different templates that we're looking at here so what you do is you just you pick one right and you're gonna wanna make sure your template is very similar all the way through your funnel so I'm gonna go with this two-step video opt-in click select template and it just tells you right here that you've, you've already got it set up and it gives you your funnel step and it brings us inside of the funnel step and literally it's going to load this. I'm not going to build out this funnel right now. I will do that in a further video, but I just wanted to show you how easy this is inside of ClickFunnels to get going. And what you see here is inside of our editor, um, we're able to go into the settings here and we can actually, this little gear wheel, it allows us to change and get this uh, URL to be nice and clean. Um, if I want to put one of my custom domains, I can set that up here and I can say squeeze page, awesome sauce because who doesn't like some awesome sauce? 
And this is it. We're going to go really quick, just another two minutes or so in this video, and then we're going to wrap it up. But I want to show you inside of the editor. So when we click edit page, this button down here, it actually brings us inside of the template that we just loaded. And this is where you're able to take advantage of not only their design help that they've done, but also the, the technical components. Uh, I'm going to keep moving myself around the screen here. And you'll notice over here on the right, these are the main kind of navigational items. These are, are the overarching kind of tools that you have within the editor. The way the editor works is there's three levels of content and they're highlighted with different colors. So this is the orange and the orange is kind of the actual element. Then outside of the orange, we have the blue. So you can see it goes orange to blue and then we have a teal color. So the teal color is like the outer container. So if I click delete right here and now, it would actually delete everything that's in this green, which would literally be the entire page. You can see that green box follows all the way around the page. Then the next level in is this kind of blue, and then you have the orange. So when I want to modify the text, I just click inside of the orange, and I physically just start changing the text. So I'm saying... Um, It's, it's literally point and click easy. You just go in and modify what you want the way you want. You can remove things and add things. And it's it's really quite quite impressive how easy this is. So now you can see these ones highlight blue. I can click over here and it gives me the orange, which would be my way of modifying the text. Let's just call it a blueprint or a, a boot camp. Make it a five day boot camp because who doesn't like a five day boot camp? So, this is it really. This is how you modify it. And then, with the video here, if this is a video squeeze page, you simply click on it, it brings out the options tab, and all you do is plug in your Vimeo URL if you have a Vimeo video. Um, I love using Vimeo Pro for my videos. So, you just pop in, there's not even an embed code to deal with. It's that easy. Pop in your video, and it'll automatically load it there for you. And that's it. When you're good and you're happy with it, obviously, you tweak all these little components, you simply click save and it has automatically saved this for you. And this is how you get back inside of your editor dashboard with this little back button. And what you'll do is you'll go through each page, right? So the squeeze page gets set up, you go into your sales page, it's gonna wanna know uh, the, the specifics. So they've got kind of like generic text that's in there. It's designed to be kind of um, a, a mental trigger for you if you don't have copywriting skills or if you don't have a copywriter. But now, again, we're in the sales page and it wants us to pick what our sales video is. And I would just make sure I match it to the one I did, right? So I want the same colors, I want the same look, and I would just follow that theme all the way through. The order form is already built for you. It's already tied into Stripe. I can't tell you how powerful this is. The first few times I set up and sold my own products, it was an absolute mishmash of tools and, and secure socket layers and plugins and it was not as clean as this is and you simply select your template it automatically loads it for you it creates this page for you and then you're in and you get to go inside of your sales page you can uh, turn on components, turn off components as you choose. Uh, I do recommend getting their, their address so you can get their zip code. And getting their phone number definitely helps uh, keep the, the failed payments go kind of as low as possible. But you'll notice I'm going to drop myself down here in the corner. You just kind of modify. You just grab this. It'll ask you what you want your logo to be. You just enter your logo. If you want to upload it, you just click the plus. It'll let you upload it from your website here or from your, your home computer here. And uh, it's really, really simple stuff. Like everything's point and click and they show you how to do everything. But really, this is amazing. I mean, how easy it is. It gets their contact information, the billing address, puts in the credit card information and boom, they click complete their order and they automatically go get their product. It's really, really powerful. So I really think that if you're on the fence about ClickFunnels, the best thing you can do is get a 14-day free trial. What it's going to do is it's going to give you the ability to click around inside of it, right? You need to see if it matches your personality type. It's best for people who want to get started quickly, who want to iterate quickly, who want to launch split tests. You want to go straight to the pro level of internet marketing from the get-go on a 
program and a software application that's going to support you in your growth and you're willing to pay 97 bucks a month for it. Um, at $97 a month, it's not all that much more expensive than if you were building things out on a self-hosted system. You might be able to save you might be able to cut down 50% of your costs, but you do get three funnels inside of ClickFunnels at that $97 price. So really, it's kind of a mishmash. And if you've got a professional job, if you're building this on the side, if you have a day job and a commute, um, you know, saving two hours a month should be worth about 30 to $50 right there. And that's the difference. And it will absolutely save you hours every month it'll save you I mean dozens and dozens of hours potentially every month unless you happen to be a WordPress guru in that case just stick with what you know and go with WordPress and Thrive themes or Optimize Press or one of those WordPress themes that you know of I hope this has been helpful um, I just kinda wanted to give you the broad look inside of ClickFunnels here we're gonna do some more videos where I actually set up some more of the funnels um, I didn't want to go too deep I'm already what 15 minutes in I totally respect your time so if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up but more than that get started on a free trial and give it a shot and then come back and leave me a comment did it work what do you think about click funnels do you have questions are you getting stuck if you are leave me a comment I'm happy to help where I can I'm not a magician on click funnels I'm a user who's used it for over a year very successfully and that's why I'm kind of showing you inside and giving you the tour of how this all works finally be sure to subscribe to the channel so you get these new tutorials these click funnel tutorials and lessons that I'm dropping as I release them and again thank you for your time have a great day it's my Miles Beckler, and I'll see you on the next video.